the landscape so well you know groomed that we are able to take the material that they have produced and set up a schedule with it i'm not too sure that the output is enough but there should have been a central agency that would encourage local production that agency has taken a long time to be given life um and i think that what what happened is the skills of production of institutions like this one began to pay off now let me go to ttt for a while because ttt should have been that central agency the trouble is i don't know whether we were part of the government or we were intended to be the government serving the people it's kind of amorphous the way that we organized ourselves for those those broadcasts i saw it in the context of news and current affairs and i wish that we had enough manpower to promote the type of production that the parliament channel is desirous of having up to today what well, it has to assume better shape to allow people to understand what WESN is trying to do we've been down that road before and that is not to say that i'm saying that the road is all slippery it's a road that really presents the challenges that we perhaps less magnified that we suffered in the days when the world was trying to cope with the type of equipment that you would know, you would require for the coverage of things at trinidad and tobago television people carry 10 15 pounds on their shoulder huge cameras today the cameras are small and with the digital world right in front of us quality is high are we taking advantage of it are we producing material or do we have creative people going out there and coming back with suggestions as to how they could produce has news and current affairs taken the turn that one hope they would have taken with the advancement of the technology so questions to be answered but an effort like this demands a good analysis of the media landscape the landscape has three over the air television systems that compete one with the other and you 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 wonder whether there is a strict format for television in this country because anytime you talk television you talk well foreign programs but you talk sport um news weather sport international news came to you via tape from ITN in London and so on um and you used that material more than you had local material to present to people but with the advent of the change technology we started to do more and we've done quite a lot i have lines somewhere in trinidad and tobago television a complete archives that takes me back to 1983 and if somebody could tell me where the tapes are I would be very happy but you have an archive of material that was good and well produced given its time what is happening here now is WESN is about to do something that is akin to what happened back in 1983-84 um some of us looked at it as the watershed years others said we should 
look at it in the context of the development of television and radio cooperation um, during that particular period. So under the umbrella of the Caribbean Broadcasting Union, we had the expansion of material to and from Caribbean countries. Where are those tapes? Where is the material? Is that what WESN is going to do? Are they going to serve as a clearinghouse for a lot of material that is capable of being produced locally? What is going to be your live transmission like? I want something fresh. And I think you have the possibilities right there staring you in the face that you can do something other than the standard format, news, sport, weather, international news, and good night. Louis has done this before. Louis has literally been responsible for the transformation of the kind of formatting that radio has assumed today. Louis had faith in people to talk. And so he expanded on the talk radio experiment that we were together on at Radio Trinidad. That came as part of the transformation and the expansion of media so that when licenses and there are controversies over license because somebody had a license and somebody else didn't have a license and so on. But he transformed via this 102 was at the time, via 102, and demonstrated that talk can work if well done. You're at the stage now where you're going to try to do something new. And in trying to do something new, the possibility exists that we had not really developed ourselves as we should over the years. And so you may go back to some of the same personalities that dominated the airways when it was expanded. But that may provide you with the challenge to do things differently. So one hopes that there will be that kind of difference as you graduate from being a small entity uh, in a little spot in Port of Spain to perhaps your own swanking station at last with uh, the capacity to produce a lot of material. Having said that, let me look at the Caribbean a little bit because Louis was also part of the discussion at the Caribbean uh, via the Caribbean Broadcasting Union. Um, we decided that a lot of work that was done in radio um, and which gave birth to the CBU because of its impact, we covered every disaster that you could possibly think of. Um, you go back and elections in various Caribbean countries we covered automatically as part of the CVU effort. Now that you have the equipment and it's portable, it's easier to carry around, its quality is fantastic, um, you can satisfy the goal of immediacy, which should be the watchword, um, of things happening around you. Now that you have all of these things before you, what is missing? What's missing is a core of producers and creative people who can come up with the ideas and present them and invest in them. The road's going to be rough, but Louis has been down rough roads before. And one hopes that via WESN, this time there will be success surrounding a different type of, of, of output and that we will move away from the standard format of headlines, news, uh, sport, weather, and good night. Um, some advice for Louis and, and, and company? Well, sometimes you go to Louis for the advice. Um, He's been down this road before, so he knows it. And I suggest that they take advantage of the 
um, ob objective that could be achieved via this fantastic equipment and produce outputs that are at last capable of being marketed in the region. And one of the things I mentioned marketing, are we marketing ourselves regionally? No, we're not. The possibilities now exist that you can set up a network using the portability of this equipment to achieve the objectives of the immediacy. Um, so I would tell Louis as he would tell me um, when we had an affiliation out at Radio Trinidad the other day and over the years that we have discussed, go brave. Um, but you're going with a commitment and you're going with a vision and you're going with doing your best to attract the pool of talented people whose output you see every day on local television. There is local television, an expansion of local television. But the sad part of it is the more equipment you get, the more programs you do, there is some formula, an adverse one, that prevents you from having more returns from those efforts that you make. So you have a television system, you have material that you produce, you can talk to your producers and, and all the people who uh, reside in this era of immediacy, but you've got to think of something that goes beyond the regular format that we have.